Okay, another flow. I will. So, uh, another flow I wanted to invite you for is um, around 30 minutes back pain, rather lower back pain uh, flow. Um, 30 minutes uh, should help with uh, lower back pain. There is going to be some twisting, there is going to be some stretching, there is going to be some back bends. Um, and yeah, just like to help get rid of the stiffness and lower pain from sitting a lot uh, or lying a lot. I'm lying a lot lately, so hope it's gonna help with that. And just join me on the mat. Cheers. We're going to start in an easy pose. So sit cross-legged on your mat. With an inhale, lift your hands up and with an exhale, Bend to the left side, left hand on the mat, inhale, hands up, exhale, bend to the right, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now we are going to move into the staff pose. So straight legs in front of you and active core, hands in front of you and with an inhale, flex your toes and your fingers, exhale, point, inhale, flex, exhale, point, inhale, exhale. Now make rounds to your right side, the ankles and your wrists, and now to the left side. Now bend your right leg in front of you and grab it underneath your knee or thigh and try to straighten the leg a couple of times. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So left leg bent, grab it underneath your knee and straighten it to the sky. Now we're gonna sit in the cross legs again. Lift your hands up and with an exhale, your left hand is gonna be on your right knee. Twist to the back. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, right hand to your left knee and a couple of times in your own pace. Great. Now let's move into the tabletop. So knees and hands on the floor. Now with your breath, do a cat and cow stretches. Inhale, open chest, look up. Exhale, stretch your back to the sky. Now, if it feels right, you can also do rolls to the sides or back and forth. Honestly, do anything that feels right here. Now move your knees a little bit wider and go into child's pose. With every exhale, try to go deeper. Really release into the stretch. Lift back up into the tabletop and at the same time lift left hand up and active right leg up. Flex your toes and make sure your glutes are active, core strong and back straight. With exhale, round your spine and touch your elbow with your knee. Inhale, active leg and active hand up. Exhale, round back. Inhale. Exhale, elbow to the knee. Now, same thing on the other side. So, active glute, active shoulders. And with an exhale, touch your elbow to your knee. 
inhale and exhale remember to keep your glutes and your core active and strong Now sit back with your legs crossed and right leg bent in front of you with the feet on the ground. With exhale, press away with your left elbow from your right knee and twist and look behind you. Try to go deeper with every exhale. With inhale, straighten your back. Exhale, release deeper into the twist. Now, same thing on the other side. So left leg in front of you, right elbow pressing away and look back while keeping your back straight. Inhale, straighten your back. Exhale, go deeper into the twist. Great. Now stand up on top of your mat and with an inhale lift your hands up, exhale go into the forward fold, inhale straighten your back halfway up, exhale jump into the plank and down into chaturanga, inhale upward facing dog and exhale press away into downward facing dog. Now strong legs, strong arms, press away from the ground and stay for a couple of breaths. Now lift your right leg up, bend your knee and place it between your hands. Lift up and go into warrior two. So right leg bent 90 degrees. And left leg straight and active. Hands into your sides. Now you want your whole body to be active. Be really aware of your hands. Try to keep them at the same level. Bend your front knee a little bit more, your right knee. Great, and now move your legs a little bit closer, straighten your right knee, and we're gonna go into triangle. So left hip goes back and reach far to the right side with your right hand. Now lean into the posture with keeping your chest facing the wall, spine long. Inhale, look up, lift your hands up, and with an exhale, go into wide legged forward fold. Your toes should be turning to each other. A stretch should be happening from your hips. You can try to move your body weight into your toes. Try to reach the ground with your forehead. Now, with inhale, lift up. And we're gonna go into triangle on the other side. So both legs straight and active, core facing the wall, right hip is going back, and you're really trying to make your spine long and look up into your left hand. So we we'll lift up and go with your legs a little bit wider we're gonna go back into warrior two but now on the other side so left knee bent 90 degrees 
right leg active and strong straight knee now lift up and stand with your feet mat wide apart and squat down into malasana so heels are touching the ground hands in front of you elbows pressing away from the knees back should be straight now if you want to go deeper into this stretch place your left hand on the ground and right hand up and look into the sky and same thing on the other side but you can also just stay in malasana and release your lower back to the ground great now lift up and we're gonna go into forward fold your feet should be hip distance apart and with a micro bend in your knees we're gonna go into Pantagustasana so grab your big toes with your fingers and pull yourself to the ground and remember about keeping a micro bend in your knees it should really allow you to go a bit deeper into the stretch Great. Now with an inhale, straight back halfway up with an exhale forward fold and with an inhale lift all the way up. Now we are going to lie down on our mats. Feet on the ground behind your glutes, bent knees. Now, active glutes, lift up your hips to the sky. Keep breathing and opening up the chest. Try to really keep your chin away from your chest. You can also grab your hands together underneath your back. Great, and with an exhale, wave your back back down. And you're gonna lift up, and with an exhale, you're gonna go into forward fold, seated forward fold. And again, we're gonna keep the micro bend in your knees. Try to grab your feet, and again, go deeper into the stretch from your hips now lie back down again and pull your right leg to your chest left leg lies straight on the ground with an exhale twist to the left and look to the right side Great, and now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Pull your left leg to your chest, and right leg lies straight down on the mat, and we're gonna twist to the right side. Really release into the twist, and look to the opposite side. Great. Now we want to sit up and you can try to rock your way into the lunge. So place your left feet between your hands. Right knee on the ground. Lift up your core and try to twist to your left side. Really try to go deep into the stretch. Now 
you can hook your right elbow onto your left knee and with an exhale really go deep into the twist. And now through Skandasana or side lunge, move to the other side. So we're going to twist into the right side right now. And at the same time, keep releasing your hips into the ground. So back leg on the ground, back knee on the ground, front knee 90 degrees and really release into it. Great. Now we want to stand back up with your legs wide and we're going to go into forward fold. Again, try to move your body weight to the toes. Now turn to the front of your mat. Right leg 90 degrees in front of you. Hips square and really release into the pigeon pose. With every exhale, go deeper and consciously release tense muscles in your glutes and in your lower back. Remember to keep your hips square and not to fall on either of the sides. You can place your, uh, your elbows on the ground and place your forehead on your hands, however deep you can go into it. And we're just going to move to the other side. So left leg in front of you, knee bent 90 degrees or less. 90 degrees is the ideal. You can bend it a little bit less to go deeper into the stretch. Amazing. So now let's meet an easy pose. So sitting with your legs crossed and let's do some neck rolls in your own pace. Your hands are resting on your knees and just really try to relax and feel your neck. Maybe hold a little bit longer where you feel more tension. Now try to do some cat and cow kind of movements while sitting. So with an inhale, open chest and look up and with an exhale, round your spine. Great. Now lie down and relax into Shavasana or take two blocks, place one between your shoulder blades and the other one underneath your head and relax into this chest opener. With every exhale, try to really consciously release tension. Release your glutes, release your chest. There is no need to frown your brows or to clench your jaw. Take deep inhales and exhales.
slowly come back to the space around you. Move your toes and your fingers. Turn to your right side and sit up in an easy pose. We're gonna take a couple of deep breaths. Great, that's it. So thank you so much for flowing with me. I hope you enjoyed it um, and I wish you an amazing day and see you soon. Kisses. Huh?